dear students in this video we are going to see cyclic redundancy check this is one of error detection method we use in uh, computer communication so when we send the uh, bits as uh, electromagnetic signals through transmission medium due to external disturbances the signal gets disturbed and uh, uh, this leads to error at the receiver side so at the receiver side we need to find the error and it is to be corrected so how do we find whether the packet is received properly or not so we use some methods uh, we have seen previously the error direction concept if you don't know what is error control please go through the previous video so let's proceed with this in this what do we do we have a sender and receiver in sender side the encoding process is done that the actual data is appended with additional bits so redundant redundant bits the redundant bits are actually extra bits which is not mandatory uh, for actual functioning but it is useful for finding the error so here the data word is actually appended with uh, the crc code and the result the division we do division process here and the remainder is actually added with the data word so the whole uh, the data word plus the remainder combinedly called as code word this code word is again decoded at the receiver side so here also we do another division process so the same crc code what we use so one common code crc code is uh, common to both sender and receiver and sender and receiver will crc code is common to both uh, sender and receiver both sender and receiver has the knowledge of that code and will use that crc code to check whether the data is uh, properly received or not so we will see the example of encoding and decoding so this is division what we perform at uh, sender side so encoding process so the data word the data what we want to send is 1001 and let us assume the crc code is 1011 the CRC code here is uh, 4 bits and uh, if the CRC code is 4 bits and if the code is 4 bit uh, we can append 3 zeros along with the data word for example uh, if 5 bits are there then we can go with the 4 zeros which means if we have n bits of CRC then we can go with n minus 1 zeros appended along with the data so how to find the error so this is the method so this is the crc code here we perform xr function so the xr function basic function is displayed here so 1 xr1 one is 0 and 0 xr1 is 1 so we know that here in the first uh, 4 bits the xr operation so uh, is resulting as 0 0 1 0 and you just write uh, other bits directly here Let's see if there is one uh, you can have uh, again the CRC code uh, to be processed with the XR function otherwise if 0 you leave the 0 and where 1 comes and process XR function along with the CRC code so here again 1 0 double 1 so the XR function of these bits are resulting 0 0 1 1 then add final 0 then add final 0 so the the remainder is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. so we have to leave this first 0, 0. so remainder is actually 110 the 3 bit value now we cannot again proceed with the crc one because 1011 the remainder is 110 actually the code so this is the remainder actually the code word is the data word plus the remainder here the data word is 1001 and the remainder is 110 and this data word is uh, actually transmitted to the receiver side and at the receiver side we have same crc code again this code word is decoded with the crc code and we can find whether the data is received without an error yes so here 1001110 so 1001 is the data word and 110 is the remainder uh, which perform which was performed at uh, the encoder side so the code word is combination of both data word and this remainder of the encoder 
again this curved word is performed in XR function with uh, CRC code here let us write uh, 1011 the CRC and performing XR function of first four bits giving us the result 0 0 1 0 0 XR 1 is 1 and 1 XR 1 is 0 so we can write other bits directly here so we leave these zeros and when the bit 1 comes we add a CRC code here and performing XR function so the XR function of the first four bits are giving us 0 0 0 0 then final number is also 0 so the remainder is totally 0 so which means there is no error and actual data word 1001 is accepted without an error here in this let us consider when the signal is transmitted there is a fluctuation and one bit error instead of uh, 110 instead of 1001 we have 1000 so let us process this code word along with uh, the crc so the XR function of uh, this code word is, along with the crc is performed in the first stage here the XR function of the 1 XR1 one is 0 0 XR1 one is 0 0 1 0 XR1 one is 1 0 XR1 one is 1 and leave the zeros where again and where the bit 1 comes put the CRC code and process XR function this will result as 0 1 double 0 and where again 1 comes and leaving the 0 and writing the CRC code where 1 comes and performing the XR function is resulting as 0 0 1 1 and then leaving and at the final step see leaving these two zeros so we have only two bits remaining we cannot process XR function or any other function along with this CRC code so the remainder here is 1 1 so so the remainder means not zero uh, which means the data is received with an error so by this way cyclic redundancy check is finding the error uh, from the received uh, data so we have to look after uh, any other method to correct uh, received data